then static properties are very important when we are programming based in the object-oriented programming. It's so because there are many times that we could want to have a information that's not some particularity for one single instance of one class, but it will be a common feature for that class, not from its objects. And when we want to have this behavior in the application, we could use then the static properties. That means properties that are from a class and not from its objects. Um, let's see here how in UML we can define these static properties. Basically, we utilize the underlined notation to say that this property is a static property. And it could be an attribute as here, and it could be methods as defined here. So when we want to define currents, we are going to set this information in the product itself, in the product class, not in the product objects. So let's pay attention that the description, price, and discount are information that every single instance will have this own information. But the currents, it will be just one space for storing this information that is in the class itself. So all objects will share the same information. Um, it's also important to say that the static properties, their memory space is allocated just when the program starts. It don't need to have instance created to allocate space for that. Now let's take a look how it could be translated to the Java programming. So here, if you take a look in the, um, in the code, we have now a current property that is static. It means the instances itself, if we want to use an instance to access the current, it's not available here because, because it's not from instance, it's from the class. Then we have to use the class name as the access point to access the current attribute. So we have to create as it's private for other parts of the program that can have access to that. We have to create the getters and setters for this property also static because here we are in the context of the class and not of the objects. And we have based on that created a new method that is an instance method that will provide the formatted price. A very simple method that will use information from the instance using the GIS keyword and information from the class using the class name. So it will make a concatenation of the price and of the currents, one from the object, other from the class. So let's take a look how it could work. So first of all, we use the class to set the currents. Then we create instance for each object and then Later, we will print all the objects created, but when printing, all of them will be utilizing the same shared properties that are in the static context. So let's see our panel here. Let's execute our code. And here we have information from each instance and information from the class using the static properties. So here we have one example of how to work with static properties in the Java programming.